Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a very quick review of the Noble Nordic. This is a Julia Sophia, uh, I wouldn't say collaboration, this is her product. It is the lip oil and it is called Freddy. And I feel like you need a bit of an explanation before we, we get into this. Julia Sophia, she is a YouTuber. I would call her lifestyle YouTuber, that's most like of what the things I found on her channel. This lip oil, 20% of what is sold, the amount that is sold, uh, goes to SOS Børnebjørne, which is an organization here in Denmark that helps to support children in these uh, towns, in these cities, to make sure they get a stable and uh, protected and, and loving childhood uh, and upbringing. And the name Freddy is actually from her best friend, uh, Frederick, and they have a child together. Not They do not have a child together, but in these cities where you can kind of adopt a child, uh, they still live where they come from, uh, and the ones who adopt them still stays where they are. You can come visit them and, and help them overall, but it's not like you actually adopt a child. Um, but that's why this one is called that. And I just feel like maybe you kind of have to know that to really get the, the idea of why the product was made. So if I stop rambling about that, we could get into the actual review. They associate this lip oil with um, like a transparent and nourishing feel. Uh, you can see it looks blue-green-ish. It's the one I have on my lips, so it is transpa transparent. Uh, it gives a lot of shine and care and hyd hydration. They actually call it a moisture balm. And they say that you can use it whenever, wherever you need a pick up, you need a touch up, you just want to use it. And it actually got a Danish Beauty Award, which is why I got so interested in the in it in it in the first place, because I would like to see if these awards hold true to what I think, um, because this is just my feelings and what I think about it, and I have a lot of thoughts after trying this out because I was so excited, and then I tried it on and I was very excited and then I kept trying it on and I got less excited with time. First of all, it goes on in one swipe. It's so easy to apply. The doe foot on this just makes it really, really nice. And that makes it easy. Like, it looks nice. It looks uh, moisturized and very, very shiny, very beautiful. I feel like my lips look super beautiful with this on. It, um, it is an oil. Like, they call it a lip oil, but it's not oily, so it's not sticky or anything like that. I don't feel uh, disgusting not touching it. Of course, I don't touch it, but having it on my lips, which I was afraid I might do. But it feels very nice. It's, uh, it feels hydrating. And the smell is so good. This literally smells like one of my favorite um, gums when I was a child. So it's called, like, Jenka. It is... Um, from Bubblicious, I feel like it's a minty smell uh, and it just reminds me of, of childhood which kind of makes sense because they are donating to a child um, organization so I feel like that's pretty cool and, and makes me happy because I haven't smelled that gum in years. The more I used uh, this lip oil the less effective I feel like it is. At first I was really, really impressed with how moisturizing it was and how much it hydrated my lips. But as time went on and as I used it more, I felt like it didn't... Like... It didn't do anything that a normal, really good um, lip balm can do. Except, of course, the shine. Uh, so the really big difference I feel like between this and a normal lip, lip balm is truly the way my my lips look. So I feel like my lips are so much more beautiful with this. I really love the look of it. 
it still moisturizes, it's still like a good lip oil, it does what it's supposed to do. But I don't feel, feel like it do, It does more than a lip, uh, not a lip gloss, a lip balm would do. So yeah, the packaging is super cute. Who wouldn't want this to stay on their little vanity? I mean, it's it, it looks better than a lip balm. All the aesthetics about this are better than a lip balm. The wear, pretty much the same, but the aesthetics, the look, the the feel, much better. So this one does not have any labels, so I can't really talk about that. And concerning the claims, like it does definitely hydrate, it gives shine, I can use it wherever, whenever I want. And I really like, uh, like that, actually. The ingredients, there are three in here that I want to highlight. Uh, first we got a jojoba oil which normally is very restorative and it hydrates uh, and soothes the skin so it's really good for especially like dry skin or dry parts and that's what your lips are. That's what this is for, it's to help your dry lips so that's just perfect. Then it got limonene and limonene is one of these funny things that it's a fragrance and normally fragrances can be sensitizing but this is actually also, it has like antioxidants and can comb the skin. Not this one, but the limonene. Um, and it normally comes like from citrus or pine cones or mint types of species. So that's also, I think, where it gets the scent from. And the last thing is eugenol. And this comes from like clasive. Uh, clasive? What? This comes from cloves. Uh, basil leaf, bay leaves, uh, some types of plants and this is also known to cause sensitivity so it's like an extra fragrant to give the scent maybe these two together, the eugenol and limonene help give this nostalgic scent um, but usually it can be sensitizing I don't feel like it's as bad because you put it on your lips, it's not like, it's not like you're smearing it directly on your face. Um, but you should still be very, especially if you are very sensitive. The price of the product is 125 um, in Danish, 17 in euros and 20 in US dollars. And I will actually, I will definitely use this up. I have used it many times since I first started trying it out and I feel like it gives such a nice shine, it gives such a nice feeling. I feel a bit more lush when using it. Um, but I'm still a bit concerned, I don't think I will buy it again simply because the only thing it does better is the look compared to a lip balm and because of the like eugenol that is known. One thing is um, normal fragrant. It can be sensitizing. But this one is known to be sensitizing, which makes it a bit iffy for me, uh, especially because sometimes I do like break out that's the weirdest stuff that I can have on my skin. Uh, I haven't had any problems with this though. Um, but it, again, if you got sensitive skin, you might be be aware of it. And I just don't want to cause an uh, irritation by using it too much, so I'd rather switch to a lip balm without these if I can find one that's like the end goal but it's definitely great it looks perfect if you really like a moisturizing like if you want if you're looking for a lip balm that makes your lips look so dang beautiful try the lip oil instead because it does help as well but it just looks better so i think that's all for this i will of course put up uh, some pictures with like uh, my face so you can see it uh, the ingredients so you can also read them and the product itself so you got an idea of how it looks, how it feels, how much, like how big it is because I can sit here and show you um, in my small small hands but you might also want to, to get a bit closer look so I will let you have that. So that's all for this time, this was just a short review or at least I tried to make it as short as I could and I think that's all for this time, I just hope you all have a happy life one day at a time. <laughs>